strategies for keeping your job. In some countries, unemployment because of worker cabas is a big problem. Is this a problem in your country? After six years with the company, Bob Congers lost his job. Bob hadn't done anything wrong. On the contrary, he was a good worker. But his company was cutting its workforce. Workforce cutbacks were a common occurrence in the early 1990s. In response, career experts developed strategies for holding on to a job. Make sure everybody knows you. Being a good worker is sometimes less important than making sure that people know you are a good worker. Volunteer for new responsibility, push your ideas, and generally make yourself visible. Learn everything that could help you do your job better. If the company buys new computers, learn how to use them. If learning more about marketing. Could help you take a short course in marketing. Make sure you know everything about the company, and use this knowledge. If you find out that sales is becoming the most important department, try making a move to sales. Be positive. People who find things to complain about are a lot less popular than people who find things to praise. Improve your speaking and your writing skills. Having good ideas isn't enough. You need to be able to communicate your ideas. Impress your boss. You can often impress the boss by arriving early and working late, and by dressing in a business-like way, even if others dress casually. In the end, it all comes down to one basic strategy: make yourself so valuable. That the company won't want to lose you.